mattress have gotten so uncomfortable that you added other mattresses underneath to give it more comfort. Trying to make the bed with a little amount of room in between. Shuffle, shuffle, just so you can get inside. Night. You're so close to this that you're hitting it. And it's making noise. Time to change that up. Have you ever wanted to upgrade your mattress in your RV? Well, we have. So stay with us as we show you what we upgraded to. On this episode on Proceeding Onward in America. Here's our mattresses. Oh, we also got to cut the bedboard. And it's not safe because it'll lead to mold. We're about to pick up our bed. It came. Looks like a normal bed. So we learned something. Okay, so we are putting up uh, the aluminum foil to winterize our RV a little bit more. And we ran into an issue on top we use as our attic. So the mattresses were up against the wall because we were using it as like a barrier. The barrier was to help keep with the cold and so forth. So we thought that was great until we went to put the aluminum foil in the window there. We realized all the moisture that was collecting there. It started getting on the mattresses. So it started getting a moisture barrier all around it. Ooh, look at that. Oh, Wedding please. gown got wet and everything. So don't stuff things over there too much. And it's not safe because it'll lead to mold. So we're, what do we do now? Ding. <laughs> <laughs> that was my idea. So what we did is we had to put the mattresses somewhere, right? Here's our mattresses. This one's just going to be a tad too long. Tad too long. But two from the attic and the baby's room. So it makes it a little bit too long. So potentially we could either A, not have it there at all, or B. Can't we put those in the long way instead? Or we can try the long way, but it doesn't fit all the way from side to side. It doesn't really sink as much as this. We're going to sink in the center. No, it won't. That's not going to work. Okay, let's try the center. See if it really sinks in the center. All right, we're gonna sink. Oh, oh my gosh. I got it at the edge. I got it at the edge, right? Okay, Mr. Testins. Oh. Oh. Snuggy, snuggy. <laughs> yeah, you oh, sunk in the middle. Oh. I feel like I'm being hugged. You're being hugged? Oh. <laughs> Go back to sleeping. Sleep and bing. bing. <laughs> See, I think my way is still better. So we had these lovely things, yeah, that were always in our way for our mattress to begin with. I look horrible. But you know what? This is real life. And you want real stuff going on? This is this is what you get. So we wanted these out anyways because it kept getting messed up with our mattress. Hey y'all. Showing my butt again? Can't really see it. The pillow's in the way. But yeah, those are in the way. We'll give it one night, but unfortunately- Roll around and see how it feels. You want me to roll around? Yeah, there's definitely a little gap down there. We'll see how it goes tonight. And if you don't like it, we're gonna go back to my original way. Hello and welcome to Proceeding on it in America. Be away! We're about to pick up our bed. It came! Yay! So let's show you what we got. Yes. Oh, there's a little sneak peek. One box. Box number two. Whee! All right, so here we are inside. I took the tape off this one already, but let's see what that looks like. So here we go. This yeah. is all the foam part. And then the other one. Off that tape. <laughs> there we go. This one has like the cover in it. Yeah. It has hoses. The hose. And that's probably the machine that pumps it. You have a book that will tell us how to do it. It does come with a remote. Uh, yes. One. It comes with one remote. It's a weird remote, though. It's a triangle remote. Mm -hmm. I was thinking about hanging it on the wall, but. It's not going to hang. <laughs> not with that triangle thing. You do have to be laying on the bed when you set the numbers to finish our unboxing. 
That's gonna go underneath the bed. Yeah, so you're gonna have to make a hole big yeah. enough for this. Well, that's gonna be the mission for today, is to get out the old bed, figure out how we put this thing together. Oh, we also gotta cut the bed board. Yes. So I need to get my blades for that. Mm -hmm. Markers for measurements and stuff like that because we got to cut that board to a clean size board now and then drill holes to where we're going to put these hoses. Mm -hmm. We'll figure it out. to bedtime we are putting together our bed today so while we're trying to let our base dry because we found some issues with it we took the mattress up and we noticed it seemed a little wet there's molding going on so we need to figure out why there's mold and prevent that the new mattress we're gonna let it dry some but you sprayed this on it. Why there's mold. Okay, quick update on this video. It turns out that when we put the other mattresses underneath this mattress and it got wet from the moisture in the attic, that moisture dripped down into the board and basically transferred over the moisture onto the board and that's why we had mold in here. So we took care of it with that spray and it is all gone now, so everything is A-OK. -okay. Now, back to the video. I'm gonna go over the instruction manual. So we went to the sleep number store and we ended up trying out the beds that were there. And we also found out that there was a bed made for RVs. And it was actually a little bit cheaper due to the fact that we didn't have to buy the base. So if you own a RV, check out the R3 or R5 but we had the comfort tier, we got the R3, and we ended up buying a little mattress pad to place on top of it. We got the normal size queen bed. There is a radius one where it curves at the end and everything. We did not get that. We just got a normal size queen. At the top of your bed, if you didn't know, there is a spot where you can put the firmness control system in. Must be where those are all at. Yeah, those are probably screwed down into the board. Yeah. To get you the anchorage. Oh, we know where that the pump will definitely fit there. <laughs> Fabian's measuring five inches so that we can figure out where the center or where to line everything up. Now after dealing with this, I suggest that you take off the whole board and do this outside. Less dirt and dust left inside your RV. You can take off the two wooden boards along with the gas trucks and just do everything outside. Drill the screws back and it'll hold it in place so then we can put the bed back down. There we go. Drill the two holes for the two air chambers. Let's vacuum. I didn't listen to the wife. Now I really gotta get remove that panel. Because I forgot to plug it in before I zapped everything down. There you go. And look at that, more space. More space. Uh, for more stuff. And of course, we showed you our unboxing, but it came with a mattress cover. That's going to be the first thing that you place onto your base. It does zip open, so you're going to zip it open when it's laying on here. And then you're going to put the foam inside. And we'll show you these steps as we go along. The foam border walls, there's going to be two long ones that go up and down. And then you're going to have two smaller ones that go at the foot of the bed and at the head of the bed. So after the foam is all up, then extend the border wrap over the foam comfort. Then we're going to put the air chambers inside. Now this one has an L on it, so I think that one goes to the left. 
So you zip them together. Now the air chambers, there's going to be a location in, in one side of it that has a connection for the hoses. That is what you want to put at the head of the bed. You'll have one of the hoses that has an L on it or it has a different marking. That one will go on the left side. There's either a blue band for the right side. When you have it connected, you will have to listen for a click. Once you hear the click, then you know it is fully connected. And it came with two extra hose extenders. Just in case, I guess, if you want to put the pump further away, probably in your basement or something. Mm -hmm. I don't know. And then you can have these things reach even further. I don't believe ours came with a 90 degree hose extension. That would be important to have. I've seen some people talk about needing that and I don't think we got that. So we'll let you know how that goes. If we have to get one, then we'll just have to order it. So that way it connects to your firmness control system that will help pump up the bit for you. And then after everything's on top, you put the foam comfort layer on top of the air chambers. Make sure that the smooth side of the foam is facing down. So then after the air chambers and the foam's on top, and then you close the mattress top. And then after that's all done, then you can zip it up and then you'll be able to go from there. So it seems pretty easy. Looks like a normal bed. Yep. Looks like a good size. We actually have room on the sides. Wow. Hey. And then of course you have the remote control. Sink again. Sink again. Sinking, sinking. So everybody got new beds this week. Jag got new bed. We got yeah. new bed. Well, click up there for Jag's new bed. All right, now let's put the mattress top on top. Let's lay in our beds. <laughs> is good all right that's your side that says fa <laughs> that's becky put me at 100 yep. there see good you're at 100 yeah. we're hundreds what's your sleeper number too Try soft it. too far no i think it's just right just right i think so just right Thirty-five. Really? So continue. Try for these nights. Question: Can we hit visit or so so exit? Okay, I'm gonna stay at sixty right now, and I'll find out when I sleep how it feels, because I don't know yet. But we're gonna enjoy this for a few nights and see how we um, we take it. <laughs> I don't know my number yet, so I'm gonna just try it out where it's at. And if I like it, I like it. If I don't, I'll just go up or down or whatever. I really didn't think it was at 35. So we'll see how these things play out. Mm -hmm. Give these a few nights and come back and let you know. Yeah. But what's your sleep number? Keep following us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and don't forget to become our Patreon. Mm -hmm. Where, we, where just a dollar a month can help us make more videos like this. And if you haven't yet, make sure that you like and subscribe and share this video out. All right. Make sure that you keep proceeding onward in your adventures. And comment down below on what mattress you have for your RV. And if you have a sleep number like we do, let us know what your numbers are and how it's working for you. So until next time, bye-bye. Bye-bye. On the next episode, Jag gets a new bed, so come see what we did.